Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Sketch a Day Live this Friday. We are, as always, in flux, fueled by coffee, and <laughs> going hard. I actually started early this morning. So thanks for joining. I just got off uh, with some students, got off streaming. <laughs> well, that just sounds terrible. Just completed streaming with some students in Eindhoven. Uh, so if you're joining and you are there, thanks for joining. If you're joining on Instagram, just a reminder, if you wanna catch the full stream, be sure to come check out my YouTube, youtube.com slash sketchaday.com where I will be continuing the stream. I'm just gonna warm up like I always do. And we'll start with some lines. If this is your first time, hit that subscribe button, turn on alerts, that's the little bell. That way you won't miss when we go live on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. After the stream today, later today at 1 p.m. Pacific, I will be going live with Adobe on Adobe Live. I'll be showcasing some digital products and my sketch flow. Probably gonna do a shoe. They don't get a lot of industrial designers on their streams, so I'll be doing something, something apparel related. Check in as always, say hey, what's up, Vicari, welcome back. Lynette, as always, solid, solid and dependable. Is that your middle name? We're having fun on this Friday, as always. David, Alex, what's happening? Let's do some circles. Once again, if you're joining on the Instagram, you'll want to head over to youtube.com slash sketchday.com or sketchday.com slash video. And if you're watching this on Facebook, you're probably watching it after the stream. So next time, definitely subscribe and turn on those alerts hope everyone's having a happy friday i certainly am early early start man yesterday was bonkers i know i didn't upload a video my apologies i have like three videos in my queue so don't worry i think i'm gonna publish on saturday and sunday which i don't normally do but i want to get these videos out to you guys um to say thank you special shout outs to chris antel today he was awesome in supporting me this week on the stream. Just want to say thank you. It was very kind, um, kind contribution that, frankly, just helped me make some improvements to my setup this week. So just want to say thank you. I know some of you have asked in the past how you can help contribute. Those links are on the video frame if you want to check that out. There we go. I feel like I always forget <laughs> to switch, but just warming up, typical circles, lines, ellipses, all that good stuff. So shout out to Chris. Thank you. And shout out to my Patreons. You will be receiving a very special gift today. I will be releasing my brushes after the stream. <clears throat> so look out for that. As always, you can also join the Discord, submit sketches, all that good stuff, communicate. We have a pretty awesome community that's super helpful right now that we're building so if you want to be a part of that join the discord the link should be in the video description but yeah shout out to the patreons for your continuing support as always and uh thanks for being a part of this great experiment of mine everyone so after the warm-up we're gonna jump right in and start sketching last time we had a few requests I'll be doing a Lego minifig today, as well as some speed form sketching. And maybe if we have time, I'll take a request. I do have a hard stop today because I have to get ready for my other shows and recording and all that good stuff. And I got to pick up some new gear from Best Buy. Always trying to make this better for you guys. So. Warm-ups, super important. Don't ever forget it. Always do them. I try to. Shout out to Pipe from Colombia. We have an international audience here. International show. Dinesh from India, what's up? Hussein, where are we all checking in from? 
thanks for joining. I know you guys could be doing a lot of uh, more important things like watching Tiger King, for example. But here we are, doing our thing today. Appreciate you being here. If you are just joining the Instagram, you'll want to head over to youtube.com slash sketchaday.com to catch the full show, to chat, to interact, all of that good stuff. I did finally set up, however, um, a second screen so I can actually see my... You guys are probably seeing this cable. Um, well, this cable. <laughs> Pipes over to another display where I can see my phone. So thanks for, uh, thanks for being a part of this pre-show if you're on Instagram. We're going to get into it in just a sec as we warm up. But super important. So the reason I do this on the stream is to show you how and why. And then we'll get into it. Tim, welcome. Thanks for joining. Oh, you're welcome. I think Tim was part of the uh, part of the class earlier. Okay, we're gonna jump right into it, <clears throat> and I'm gonna do some speed form. So we'll do a couple of these. And it's been a while since I've done this, frankly. Um, so hopefully we can come up with some cool stuff. But speed forms essentially are a way of quickly. quickly representing something that could go fast, as the name would imply. So you might have some lines, the idea here, to create some directionality. And then, you know, if we want to keep it loose, throw some spokes on, like so. But literally, I have not done these in so long. Um, so we'll keep it, keep it loose and fresh here. Hope you guys are staying safe and happy. I know the world is kind of crazy right now. So we'll do a couple of these. I like to kind of do ellipses and you know the, the well you don't know, but <laughs> the idea here being, let's see if we can just be as expressive as possible. And then come up with, come up with something, okay? So let's focus on the details and more on the expression of this form and we can pull out those uh, form elements with things like some marker pencil whatever we got to do particularly useful if you're doing something like a mid-engine car or that kind of thing now I'm using my cheap markers which so far have been pretty great and I also did pick up a few of you recommended a couple other brands to try. So I picked up another brand that is the, uh, let's see, what are they called? Oh, Uhuhu. They have weird names. Uhuhu markers. So those I'm going to be showing later once I have time to do a review. But again, the idea here, let's just show some quick form with these markers. Little shadow, that's my horizon. Reflected through the side. Okay, just real quick, real quick form. So we'll do some more of these and then I'll switch to perspective. We'll do our mini fag. As always, if you have requests, drop them in the chat, Discord, wherever works for you. I'm looking at both. I have many screens. <laughs> Let's see, let me count my screens. I have one, two, three, four, five screens up, um, including the Instagram chat, which is kind of tiny. I can't really see who's posting what, my apologies. But we will march on, we will have fun. I just, I love drawing, <laughs> like, <laughs> this is this is the best. I, I love going live with you guys, so thanks again. And in about, I don't know, five minutes here. I'm gonna cut the Instagram so I can focus on you guys if you're here on the YouTubes. So once again, feel free to join in on the YouTubes. 
If you go to sketchaday.com slash video, it'll take you right to my YouTube page and you'll be able to chat and interact. All right, so there's there's two quick speed forms. We can keep doing this over and over like hamsters in a wheel, or we can move on. I'm gonna move quick today. All right, so now at this point, I'm gonna start just being a bit more expressive here with these forms, nice and loose. You know, you can kind of see what this might turn into. If there's an axis, try not to be too too technical about it. There's a little bit of that, that wheel, wheel shape in the side. Most important thing is when you're drawing, just, just kind of get into it, have fun. Don't, don't stress, don't overthink it because all of that stuff kind of carries through into your final drawing. So you want to make sure you just keep it nice and loose. And when you're ready, add those details in. Probably do an overlay of this one. You know, maybe f figuring out figuring out some form relationship stuff here. some sort of headlight on the top, but again, just trying to be expressive as we do this. Pipe is asking, do you ever, have I ever tried touch markers? I have not. Um, they're a little bit more expensive than these that I'm using. These are 50 cent markers. 50, 50 cent. So hard, kind of hard to beat that price. But I like them, mostly for the price. I'm not a huge fan of this perspective, actually. So I might redo this one again. <laughs> but that is the beauty of drawing and drawing quickly and just having fun, we're exploring, you know, maybe there's some shape here that I want to pull into a final sketch. One challenge I like to give myself sometimes is not giving up on my sketch. And I find that at times it can be very productive, sometimes very frustrating, but it's a good challenge. One I like to give myself but again, just be free and expressive as you do this stuff. All right, I think part of the problem for me here is I want the front to be a little bit wider and I want to actually move this up. So if there were a plane here, I just want to kind of pull this edge up a little bit. Alexander is asking, what thickness of fine liner is this? This is, let's see, this is a paper made flare medium is what I'm using here. All right, guys, if you're on Instagram, Come hop over to Facebook. I'm going to dip out here. Thanks for hanging and being a part of the pre-show. Much love. All right. A little switcheroo here. Pardon me. So think about what you guys want to see next. That's what we're going to do. All right. Whew. That was intense. All right. Let's try again. So ellipse, another ellipse here, another ellipse here, maybe another one here, and a spine. In the back. I feel like I need bigger paper though. Maybe that's part of the problem. Like I want to draw real big. Okay, so let's get some of this stuff out of the way. If you guys were on the stream last time, you might remember this one. So I'm gonna go with 11 by 17. Big, big, big paper here. All right. Drawing big sometimes is the way to kind of get what you want. You're, you're able to be a bit more expressive. There's a bit more space here. So this is representative of the width of this vehicle, right? And there's that front 
proportion. And I've got these, these back shapes here and perhaps that extension that comes in like so. So yeah, sometimes just by drawing shapes like this, you're able to um, able to quickly come up with something. And we'll we'll add some marker to this, and you guys will kind of see what I'm doing here, hopefully. But rather than drawing the ellipses or wheel wells, I'm just trying to be a bit more expressive with this particular sketch. All right. I guess it's kind of looking like a spaceship, but that's all right. We'll add some details to help help that out. Just freestyling it, keeping it loose today. who requested uh, the speed form stuff but it's a it's a good way to you know sketch out a vehicle and perhaps be a bit more expressive if you're just looking for um, you know a different approach Why are late live video? I'm not sure what you mean, Senthi, but welcome. Thanks for joining as always. So yeah, again, sketching just two ellipses, you know, maybe a third here. We'll extend the back out. Just kind of want, I just like this weird it's almost like a chicken tail <laughs> on this sketch here. All right, maybe just some highlight spots. And as you're doing this, you know, you can kind of carve things in the shape. So this line, I kind of want to be like a feature line in this form. But we're just going to roll with it, this sketch. All right. <clears throat> Why not use some red? Everyone loves red. And my red markers are right here. Once again, these are Bianio markers. You can check that out on check that out on my uh, channel where I review these markers. But we're gonna we're gonna keep this keep this sketchy. That one's a little dark, but maybe I should do a little test here <laughs> since I'm not used to these. All right, so this one is 107. So again, my little trick here. If you are using markers for rendering, always helpful to kind of have a quick reference to 18 because not always do the marker colors on the cap represent what you will see on paper. There's a 130 or 317. And different brands are going to have different numbers. So if I'm using a certain brand of marker, I want to make sure that I know what I'm getting when I'm going to put that marker stroke down and I'm gonna want some purple in this so this is a 614 go green use iPad <laughs> well interesting um, I do recycle my sketch paper so there's that um, and it's something I've thought about a lot because yeah <clears throat> I do go through a lot of paper 13 but if you want to get really good at sketching use a pen that doesn't forgive and a pen that doesn't forget um, or because otherwise you're just training yourself to zoom and undo you're not really exercising your mind okay so I'm just trying to find a purple oh, this, this actually looks pretty good so 703 and maybe I'll maybe I'll do something like completely insane because I'm in the mood. <laughs> I'm wired. I've been up since five or six. Um, I want like a teal. 
<clears throat> so let's see. Uh, that works. So seven, fourteen. So yeah, if you if you start sketching, uh, if you start sketching on an iPad, and you skip paper, it's likely that you're training yourself to undo and zoom more so than draw accurately. And I, even I struggle with this. I struggle a ton. So I try not to do too much um, on the iPad because you can get lost pretty easily. All right. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do with this sketch, because I'm feeling kind of crazy this morning, is I want the scene to be kind of this green. So I'm just going to shade this in, which I don't usually do like a background first, but you know, whatever. It's Friday. Why not? It's Friday and the world is ending. So just kidding. It's not. At least I hope not. So we'll throw some green in and I'll fix up this background. I'll fix that up later. I'm not going to worry about that right now. But because this is green, I'm now going to have green spots on this hood, for example. So now I can take this marker like so. I'm just going to map out where I may have some highlights. I may need to use a little uh, white paint here, but I'm just going to map out some of this. Happy Friday. Welcome to the stream. Lynette, something I've always wondered about in terms of going green is if we were to use a tree, would it be better? Or to burn to make electricity with that tree? I don't know. That's a good, that's a good question. Who knows? Um, I do believe in doing, doing your part to minimize, however. So there is that. All right. So this is going to be, this is going to be a little bit tricky, but I'm going to go for it. Challenges are always, always fun. All right. So let's use 107. Okay. Again, here's here's the cap just to show you guys how different this is. Here's the 107 right there, and here's the cap of the marker. So they're pretty different. Okay, that's why I like to put. That's why I like to put the uh, marker on the paper so I can see what it really looks like. All right. So this sketch could easily be a complete hot mess or it could look pretty cool. Um, I'm hoping it looks pretty cool. So far, <laughs> so far it looks promising. And these are my, again, cheap 50 cent markers. So it's not about the tool always, but more so about the technique. And that's where practice comes into play. and understanding the right principles as you sketch. All right, so these recesses I'm going to make dark. So I'm leaving those for now. Sorry about that. I've got a Slack conversation going on my other computer <clears throat> over here. As always, I will, just even looking at this sketch right now, I'm like, man, they think I'm, they probably think I'm insane, but I will, uh, I will upload and post the sketch as a scan or photo. How many of you guys actually are doing that? I'm curious because I don't want to keep doing it if no one's downloading and I can't really tell. So let me know. Let me know if you are. Okay, 213. All right, a little bit lighter red here. And I'm trying to leave some white on the bottom because, you know, it's like if, the, if this futuristic vehicle or whatever is sitting on the ground, you're going to have um, light reflecting back up into it. So, 
we'll keep working this. I'm feeling pretty confident about it now. I was a little bit nervous at the beginning, to be honest, but like I said, it's Friday. Why not? These are uh, Bianu or Bianu markers. Um, they're just some cheap, I, I would say wannabe Copic markers. Um, I'm used to using Copic markers, but I decided to give these a try after um, seeing a few other artists use them. And if you know anything about Copic markers, they are crazy expensive. So I just wanted to um, give them a try and see what they look like. Okay, Alden use them. uses the scans, cool. Um, getting a Batmobile feel, yeah, sure, it's fine. Um, I mean, it just needs like an A pillar or something, but I'm not, I'm literally not stressing about, about this. Um, and the look. So yeah. I'm just excited it's the weekend, even though I'm finding myself working always. <laughs> I suppose is one of the downsides or drawbacks of this is 338 oh I didn't try this one um, of this whole remote work situation we're in right now where it's like I can never get a break but I'm happy I'm busy and so grateful that you guys are here and supporting the channel and stream okay so now I'm trying to get what I would consider to be a bit of artifacting, background elements, right? Just pushing that contrast where it needs to be pushed. I'm imagining things in the environment being reflected into this vehicle. Those are the lines that I'm putting in here. And if you want to get better at this stuff, definitely, um, Open your eyes, take a look at things around you. It's gonna inform, like it'll just start to click. <laughs> that's the way I'll put it. Where you'll see something like, oh yeah, that's, that's Chrome. Because a lot of drawing is about finding symbols and communicating those symbols in a compelling way. Um, much like language, we have alpha, we have letters in the alphabet. Those letters have phonetic values. You combine those letters and now you have sounds, you have words and you add music to those words, notes with timing. Language is a beautiful thing and visual language is beautiful as well. Thank you, Philip. Thank you for supporting and being here. Um, like I said, a lot of you have been very generous in the past. Um, shout out to Chad if he's watching. Um, Chris, Dirk has been uh, really supportive as well. Just always here. Lynette, of course. Senthi, always uh, thirsty for car design. But yeah, thank you for, for being a part of this. Um, and if you do want to contribute, there are links provided, mostly because some of you have asked in the past, so. Best way to hold a pencil is as if the pencil does not exist. I'll show you more on that in a little bit. But you wanna be just really light with that pencil. Um, almost like it's weightless, so don't, don't hold on to that pencil for dear life. It'll show through in your drawings if you do. Your drawing will feel very heavy and weighted down. So you want to keep it loose. Sometimes it feels like looseness and uh, quality are at odds with each other but it really just depends on the purpose of your sketch, what you're doing, what you're trying to communicate. And then you get to decide what level of 
finish you want to have in that sketch. All right, just pushing contrast, starting to pull some elements out here. Um, now that this blue-green color has dried a little bit, I'll start to start to work it a little bit here as well. We'll add our whites to pop, all that good stuff. I really just need to fill this half of the drawing, but that's gonna take a lot of marker. Fortunately, these are cheap. 50 cents, hard to beat, for real. All right, this is a blue 714. I wonder if I have another dark blue that would work. Blue gray. Hmm. Let's see what this looks like. I mean, that is some contrast in there. Don't want to ruin it, of course. Just be very careful. Has anyone tried the Copic airbrush? Yes, I do use it, Mox, Moxie Maximus. Let me grab mine. <laughs> good question, very good question. I actually just organized my art supplies, but yeah, I do have a Copic airbrush. <clears throat> it is absolutely not a gimmick. Um, I do wish I had a compressor to attach to this. It would be a lot better, but um, absolutely not a gimmick. So try that out. <laughs> Okay, let me grab a black marker because I want to kind of clean up a bit of the line work here. And just pull out a bit of the form. Maybe this intake here as well. And some shadow. I kind of have these gestural wheel spokes I want to throw in, like so. Yeah, it's been like years since I've done a sketch like this, and I didn't warm up or practice. So um, for me, I'm totally happy with it because it's fun. Little black there. Let's get our headlight. Like so. But yeah, don't be afraid of um, contrast in your sketches. <clears throat> contrast is your friend. On the inside of the cab here, I'm going to make it red as well. Like so. And now take this other red. Start to kind of sketch in, you know, if there's some stuff happening in here. Kind of hint at that. Maybe it's a seat, maybe it's a dash, that kind of thing. What's up, Chris? Chris has joined, thank you very much. I will respond to your email. It's just been a crazy, um, it's been a crazy day, dude. I'm going live, I mentioned at the beginning, I'm going live with Adobe later, so I've been kind of getting ready for that and just need, uh, need a minute to breathe before I jump on so I will uh, I'll definitely get back to you okay but thank you Chris has been awesome um, and once again shout out to all of you wonderful humans who are here for this grand experiment 
Made some improvements to the studio, I don't know if you noticed. Got the lights, got organized, changed the sketches. It's looking good, I'm happy, and I hope you're happy too. All right, let's just grab this opaque white. I'm gonna do a video about storing markers as well and kind of show you guys how I do that, how to make your markers last forever, basically. I have markers that are, you know, well, you don't know, but I have markers that are like 10 years old and they're still good. And I got this tip from my professor back in the day and it's totally worked so far. So all right, let's keep working this. Uh, I'm going to use. What gray shall I use? Let's use some cool gray. Christine, what's up? Welcome. It's always nice to see some familiar faces, local friends, all that good stuff. And thank you. Yeah, I've been working on it. Maybe I could turn this line into a part line. That would actually be cool. And then I could do some sort of part line up here. So whoever it was that requested this, I forget, but um, it was a request that kept popping up. So I just wanted to um, just do this for you. Next, we'll do a Lego minifig. Maybe you guys can help me design that minifig that we'll put on the stream here. Cav says, I just ran out of my 010 gray color and the ink is just so hard to find in places where I live. So I got to get them online. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's why I like the Copic as my main sketch marker because I can reliably find the inks if I need to. Not a problem, never been a problem. And they actually just changed the inks though. So it's going to be interesting. I think people are going to not be happy with that, but. They recently changed the inks so that they are smaller um, as a container. So you actually get a little, little less, um, which is weird. I don't know why they're doing that, but yeah, unfortunate. So I actually bought a bunch of inks right before um, that change happened. Because I wanted to make sure especially with things like my grays, that I could have those colors at the ready. All right, I'm gonna go a little darker in here, I think, and then I'm just squinting my eyes to look at this right now for a sec. Um, the reason I do that is so I can focus on the overall value um, of the sketch. All right, let's work on the background here just a little bit. <clears throat> I kind of wish this was a bit longer, but it is what it is. Hussein says, if you want to buy a compressor, consider buying an ultra silent one to avoid noise. Yeah, um, I just don't know much about compressors. I've been using the air marker for a while and I, I like it. I just don't know um, if my fitting will work or how that's gonna go. So that's mostly what I mean. All right, so we'll fill this in just like so. Just keep working this background. Try to do just some abstract shapes here. And then we'll 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 make sure this pops. So no worries there. It'll pop. Welcome to Sketch Today. If you're just joining, be sure to hit subscribe. If you like the stream, share it with a friend, your mama, all that good stuff. Turn on alerts so you catch what we're doing here when we do it. I'm, I'm not really liking that. Let's see. I wonder if I do something like this, maybe. Maybe I just need a little darker, darker business happening. Let's see here. All right, 
This is so weird. Like the one I was using, it's actually a blue. It's not a green, but it totally looks green. So always test your markers, especially if you're using like a new brand or something. You definitely want to test that and see if you're going to get what you think you're going to get. But don't be afraid to jump in as well and just make it happen. I think I know what I really don't like. There was just some weird tension. Okay, that's better. There was some weird tension where this was like pointing right to that bright spot on the windshield. And if you're doing something like this and you feel like the drawing is getting lost in the marker, there's a little thing we can do where we'll throw some rim light in, like I said, and it's gonna help brighten this up and help it pop. All right, so fear not. And definitely download the photos of the sketch after the stream, Google Drive link. Yeah, so I did go green with the background. Music is in the background, yes. Um, <laughs> everyone always asks. It's just a Spotify playlist. It's like chill, copyright free, something like that. Um, if you guys want to check it out. So cool colors uh, recede and warm colors come to the forefront if you're doing a sketch. So something like this, you know, if I'm, if I'm shading on the far side of the car, I do want to use like a cool gray to do that. So I'll just put that over the color here just to mute things a bit. Not too much because it can kind of desaturate and make things weird <laughs> at the same time. And as organized as I am, I'm not sure if I have a white pencil today. But I do have my white pen and other options as well. I've got this Molotov pen and another pit pen. But I do want a white pencil. So I'll see if I can grab one in a minute. All right, so pit pen. <clears throat> Let's see. Do I use colored pencils? Yes. And I know someone requested colored pencil for um, like a video, so I can do that. Um, is there a specific topic or a thing you'd want to see in colored pencil? I wouldn't say I'm by any means a colored pencil expert, but um, I figure I can figure it out. I think I can figure it out rather. All right, so just right around some of these reflections, I'm gonna add a little bit of white. Because there's gonna be things in the environment, right? If this is an actual environment that are reflecting in here. Or I might wanna lighten up a surface or edge things like that. That's why we're using this white pen. Okay. It's a bit translucent of an ink, so maybe I'll do a video on different white pens that I've found. How I use them, when and why. But yeah, I've, I've, I've spent a lot of money on trying to find a white pen that works for me. And this one's probably one of my favorites just because it has a small tip. It's not too opaque. So kind of a, just if I want to lighten something up, it's a good water-based ink. If I want something more opaque, however, so say in this area, then I'll use like this Molotov pen. It's a pump pen, so you kind of have to always test it. It's acrylic paint. So you push on the tip and more ink comes out. And uh, now I can basically paint with this opaque 
white paint on this edge. So this is one of my favorites as well. And then there's another gel pen if I'm working on something that is meant to be a bit more uh, detailed, then I'll use that one. If you like this style of car rendering, um, I want to give a shout out to a friend of mine, Danny. Um, actually, I forgot his I forgot his real name. Internet friend of mine, um, Danny C Designs. It's on Instagram. Let me see if I can grab the link here for you. And uh, he does these really cool sketches that are just all reflections like this, and like they're just dope. <laughs> so that's all I'll say. Copy URL. I'm gonna paste this in the chat. Moxima, is it Moxi Maxus? Maximus is asking if I use CAD. Um, my go-to CAD software choice is the cheapest software that'll get the job done, <laughs> frankly. And right now that is Fusion 360. So um, my favorite favorite is Alias, but not a lot of people use Alias anymore. And uh, well, I shouldn't say anymore. It's it's more of a tool that's become niche, if you will, and uh, just haven't been using it as much lately. Just a little headlight vibe up in here. I'm not a huge fan of this headlight, actually. Let me think of how I can fix this. Um, Maybe just make it a little bigger on the top or I'll just ruin the whole drawing now nah, we'll just roll with it ignore the headlight this is sketch a day live every Friday 9 a.m. Wednesdays if you can catch it around 7 well will that be 6 p.m. Pacific I'm in the mountain time zone Coming to you from Salt Lake City, Utah. That's where I'm at. But I like to give the times in Pacific so that you guys know. All right, just a little bit more here and then we'll jump to the next sketch. Burning through time. And like I said, I've got a busy day ahead. We'll do a quick minifig for you Lego fans. But yeah, check out Danny. Um, he does these quite a bit and I have not done one in years, but if this is something that interests you, this style, check it out. Just sketching in a little suggestion of a part line here for this door and a little bit of white along there. Keeping it loose and sketchy today. All right, so that's my quick sketch of a speed form car, so to speak. Um, again, just remember Keep it loose. Contrast is your friend. Someone asked the best way to hold a pencil. Hold it as if it doesn't exist, okay? <laughs> Don't hold on to it for dear life because your drawing will feel desperate as well. 
Yeah, it's it's like a speed form, but they wanted the, whoever requested it wanted like I think in the vein of automobiles. Um, so if I misinterpreted, my apologies, but um, it's definitely one way to develop some forms if you are doing something like a car design. I probably should have some of this green reflect up, but I'm like super nervous to do that. If I'm being honest with you. What am I doing with Adobe? I am showing some new, or not, not new, but they have a, a drawing product called Fresco. And so I'm just showing a little bit of that today. Yeah, that feels good. Just a little hint of green in the side there, right? Now on the front, this is probably a little too light, so I'm going to darken it up with this gray, like so. And one last thing. <laughs> Let's just separate this from the background ever so slightly. All right, there you go. I'm gonna take a quick fuel break, cafe. Like I said, it's been, it's been a long morning, man. This is the most streaming I've done in one day already. I'm already, what's this now? Two and a half, almost three hours deep on my streaming. So, whoa, got a coffee stain there. But thanks for being a part of this. Sketch a day live experiment. I will be posting some reviews this weekend. I have a drawing tablet. I have have some markers to look at. So stay tuned for that. I know uh, who was it that asked if the mar if the uh, air marker is a gimmick. Let let me show you how I might use that on on this sketch. All right. Okay, let's show you here. So I'm gonna grab my Copics and I'll use a Copic Red, let's use a 27. Or maybe this 37. A quick test. Gotta make sure the marker is juicy though. Make sure you don't have coffee near your drawing because you will spill like I do. All right. And then now for the reflection on the ground, you can just lightly dust, lightly dust the sketch here. Get some reflection happening. Or if I want to extend the green, a little bit, I can do that. So yeah, I might do something like that to just kind of help. Let me give it a little red here. And then let's see. What white marker is that? This is a Pitt Artist Pen. So they make a fatty, this big guy, and then they make a small one. So Pitt Artist Pen. Mm, let's see. Can see that so that's what it is all right so now i'll just get a green copic if i can find one ah here we go green blue green something like that these are like way too saturated but 
Like I said, I'm just gonna go. I'm just. It's Friday. We're gonna have fun. I just not care. <laughs> uh, you have to make sure the marker lines up pretty well. Otherwise, it's not gonna. And your marker can't be dry. I think this one might be a little dry. Yeah. It's a little dry. You gotta have a nice juicy marker in there. Oh, it was you, Taranvir. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, I might just add a little halo of green. You guys can't really see it from your vantage point right there, but I can. And it looks actually pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm really happy with the sketch. I don't want to go too crazy though. It's tempting. Just trying to get a little bit of green in that highlight with this. A little bit here as well. It's just gonna really help it pop. There we go, boom, I'm done. Pack it up, go home. We out, just kidding, we're not done yet. We're gonna keep going. My live stream with Adobe, let's see, that's in about four hours, so <laughs> between now and then I need to sleep. That's what I'm thinking about right now. All right, so I'm gonna remove this guy. I'll set it to the side. As always, I will scan and post. Let's do some Lego minifigs. My sons were kind enough to provide a couple little guys here that we're gonna we're gonna try and draw. So maybe I'll make a minifig of myself. That'll be interesting. Um, but I wanted to kind of just look at the form. Sorry about my hands; they're all messed up. Um, I just wanted to look at the form kind of get a sense for what it is. You know, do we want to do jumping minifig or just standing? I'll probably start with standing. Um, and then maybe we'll do one, two minifigs here. <laughs> and whenever I'm drawing something unfamiliar, I definitely like to work rough and light till I get it right. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, yes, Hussein, I will be posting a video on those markers. The box is literally sitting on the ground next to me. I haven't opened it yet because I want that to be part of the video, so. In case you're wondering, let me just clean up a little bit. Don't want to be, don't want to be too messy here. While we're doing that, if you're just joining, check in. I want to know where you're from, how you found the stream, all that good stuff. I'm just glad YouTube is not like Zoom. <laughs> I was Zoom bombed this week, and it was night. It was horrific and nightmarish. I'll spare you the details, but. Humans sometimes suck. I'll just say that. Oh, the cheap marker and the airbrush. Um, I don't know if it'll fit. Maybe I can try here. Yeah, it, it fits. So, let's grab some scrap paper. Yeah, it works. Look at that. This is the Bianyo cheap marker, so there's another video I'll make <laughs> about cheap markers in the Copic air can. All right. But yeah, these cans are expensive, and it's nice that it's portable, but at the same time, I think if I'm going to use these more and more, I need a compressor. All right, I'm just going to go light till I get it right. Form divide, beautify, all that good stuff. Let's see, is this gonna show up? Okay, that kind of shows up. I'm, I'm just using a light gray marker. Um, so the first thing I wanna do here is um, try and understand the form. So I've got a midsection to this guy. Looks like kind of a trapez trapezoidal shape. And then there's a cylinder for the head on top. The arms appear to be cylindrical in nature as well. Let's see, a little bit longer and slight bend. So something like this. And then they have kind of a waist. Looks like 
some cylindrical thing where the legs move. And then we go straight down. This minifig has junk in the trunk and then the legs like so. So just some gray marker to kind of get a feel for it. Um, if I, like I said, if I um, I'm doing something for the first time, I like to at least kind of give myself a chance to sketch it in its natural position before trying to manipulate that, that thing. All right, so there's one. Let's just throw a center line on the face like so, and then I'll do another one here. Uh, maybe this one we can do walking or something. Um, so I'll do the same thing, midsection, I'll do it a little bit taller than we had before. Here's our little legs. And this leg I want to be kind of out, like so. Proportionally that's off, so I'm going to come back, bring this in. So, and let's have this one go back just a little bit. All right, so just blocking that out. And now that was going to be the hardest part as I perceived it to be. So now I can just sketch a quick body and head. I'm not really leaving much room for headgear, but meaning does this minifig have some sort of some sort of helmet or eyewear or whatever my kids um, they just they love Legos and uh, it's fun to see how much they can do with them but they have so many Lego pieces it's insane so I think I'm going to Oh yeah, Kim Kim Jung Kim Jung Yi. Yeah, um, he used to follow me on the socials. I don't know if he does anymore. And this is pretty blown out because of the overhead light. I'm still trying to work out the lighting. Sorry guys, um, a lot of this is just trial by trial, <sighs> trial and error. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out the best way to do a lot of stuff here. So forgive me. Okay, let's let's cut that light. Um, forgive me if it's a little blown out, but just trying to find the right balance between doing the live production here and my other stuff. All right, so let's grab my paper made flare. And now that I've done the hard work of figuring out kind of the general form, you can come in with this flare pen and just start to sketch some stuff in here. Now, as far as the design on the minifig, you know, maybe you guys can give some suggestions as to what these characters are, um, what stuff you want to see on them, and we can work that out live here. Little hand. Oh wait, this is off. It's supposed to be like this. Okay, so when I'm done with this sketch, I will take, let's see, how are we on time? Now, we may not have time for a suggestion today, um, but if you drop suggestions in, Sunday I will have way more time, and let me know what you'd love to see, and I can do that Sunday, but let me know what details you want to see on these guys. <clears throat> Lynette says, I know you love to challenge yourself. I do. 
Then be unforgiving with the pen. Yes. Sorry, I'm trying to like draw and read at the same time. <laughs> Uh, but would you say it's still fine to do the layout of the drawing like what you have there in pencil? Um, yeah, I think so one of the things uh, you'll notice if you sketch with uh, Pencil or pen rather If you sketch with pen you develop a certain confidence in your stroke that will translate to drawing with pencil so the more you practice with the pen, actually the better your pencil drawings will get. It's kind of like, um, I used to run and ride a road bike a lot till I had a tra traumatic accident. But when you run and then road bike, you get better at both. Um, something about the way, I don't know, it's like your cardiovascular system adapts to both activities, you know, like cross training, CrossFit, that kind of thing. And uh, I, it's maybe the same, maybe it's similar in that sense that when I sketch with a pen, I feel like this confidence that I have translates to the pencil. So that's partly why I recommend it. And I could go on and on with the analogies, but hopefully you get what I'm saying here. This is Sketch A Day Live. Every Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific. Come join us, hang out. this is your first time definitely hit subscribe and turn on those alerts if you don't know what that is even if you've been a subscriber it's just a little bell um, on the channel that just means you get a notification when I post or go live so you won't miss these if you're joining from YouTube welcome special shout out again and thank you to the patreons who've been so great and supportive as well as others who've contributed in other ways. Thank you, thank you so much. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, pardon me. Cavsnir, where did you study your industrial design course? As in which university? I studied at Brigham Young University in Utah. And, but I like to say that my real study came after I graduated when I started working. All right, let's pick some outfits for these guys. Thebalt <laughs> says, oh my gosh, Lego. Um, let's pick some outfits for these guys. I'm not drawing the heads all the way in because, you know, if you guys decide you want some sort of headgear or whatever, should we do like an artist? You know, what if this guy were an artist, minifig on the right, what would they look like? And if she was an engineer or... Um, I don't know, something else. What would she look like? So let's do she, he. Um, what kind of things would they have? Hit me up with some suggestions. You know, I love doing things with you guys, so. I'll do a quick chat check in. Abby, what was it? Abhishek, what types of projects do you work on and how long have you been sketching? I've been sketching for about. Man. <laughs> I always forget the answer to this, but since 2000, I mean, my whole life really, but as far as actual practice and being decent at it since 2004, when I started school, that's when I really decided to take it seriously. Um, actually, this side here is off because, yeah, that kind of fixes it. We'll fudge it. Um, but that's when I started taking it seriously and um, ooh, spanner in a workshop belt. And yeah, with just with consistent practice, I've gotten better over the years. But I try to draw now about, I don't know, some days are more than others. Some days it's, I'd say a minimum of an hour a day, but some days like today, I'll be drawing for six to eight hours. So that's going to be my day. I'm already almost four hours in. There'll be another big chunk happening. So, um, that's that. It's just all about mileage and practice and being consistent 
with all that good stuff. Ooh, turtleneck for the artist. I wonder how I'd do that. I'm not sure what a minifig wrench looks like, but I'm gonna just make something up. So we'll just continue with the gray marker here. So engineer, designer, or artist. All right, so I'll have some sort of wrench, wrench thing. And you said like a tool belt, turtleneck on this one. Should we do a scarf? Like a, I don't know. Because the clothes are kind of just printed. And then the engineer, is the engineer wearing coveralls? Is the engineer wearing, um, you know, just a button down shirt? What do you, what do you guys think? You said tool belt. So I could do some sort of tool belt here. I'll just block that in. And the artist, you said turtleneck. Um, not sure how I'll do the turtleneck. I think some of these, they have little things that snap around the neck. So maybe we could add like a, just a little black collar there. Um, and then let's see. Maybe just a paintbrush or something in the hand. You know, I'll sketch it in, it'll work. No worries there. So paintbrush. You think glasses for the artist? I think glasses. I'll do some glasses. And I'll do some hair <laughs> on this artist. Something like this. Engineer needs a navy blue shirt. Okay. It's a she though. Not that the colors have to be, uh, you know, your normal gendered colors, but that was my whole idea here. Both have a tool belt. Oh, yes. That's a good idea. But the tools would kind of be sticking up, right? So the, the engineer would have... I mean, there would probably be a pocket of some sort on this shirt, whatever the shirt is. And then they'd have some pens. Um, we could do shoe color. So maybe these shoes will be black shoes. Something like that. Ooh, a palette, 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 palette. Or I could do paint splotches all over. How would I do a palette here? Because I have the wrench. That's my problem. Um, I could just do the palette on the ground, I guess. <laughs> I wasn't really thinking through this as much as I should have. I need a reference for how they smile. Okay. Let's do a ponytail on this one. Ponytail, shirt, pocket, squares. All right, I think that's enough. Okay, so enough gray there that I can kind of work with it. Um, projects I typically work on, a lot of consumer electronics right now, um, some interior design projects as well. I'm not gonna show real work on the stream that is currently in progress, but I will consider showing some stuff in the future that has been completed. Do they have ears? I don't even know if they have ears. No, I don't think they have ears.
All right, we said we'd add like a collar here. So I'm gonna add this black collar. That's gonna be dark. This will all be dark, dark, dark. Um, maybe I can do some stripes. Have I tried a uniball? I have, I don't like gel pens. I like felt pens because they have a bit of friction between the tip of the pen and the paper. And it sounds maybe a little bit crazy, but even the vibration of that tip on the paper just feels right to me. So I like how slow the tip moves on the paper. In other words, whereas a gel pen, it just, you're just all over the paper with those things. All right. Switching to a cool gray, I'm gonna map out some shadows here. Ugh. So just a little shadow on the side. My cool gray chisel tip here kind of fell apart. And then for this guy, just a shadow like so. Mapping out a drop shadow. So I'm basically looking at these points and trying to project down to where I feel these points would inter intersect or land on a ground plane of some sort. That's what I'm, I'm kind of doing right here. So like the top of the body, the leg that's outstretched, this arm, right, comes off the side about this, this position. So just a little shadow in there, it's sticking back. And that's, that's kind of how I map out a shadow on something. Cav says you can totally relate with the felt pen comment. Yes. Um, there's, just, there's just something satisfying about that resistance you get when you pull or when you push on the paper with a felt pen. Once again, our cheap markers here. Should we make this Lego shiny? I think we should. So if we're gonna make it shiny, we gotta think about the environment it's in. What's gonna be reflected in to this Lego. The arms are kinda of easy to figure out because they're cylindrical. And if the light source is from the top and the right, which is kinda of my go-to. I like top right, maybe it's because I'm right-handed. But we definitely want some nice highlights. We'll leave some white spots there. The side surfaces are gonna be a little bit darker as they're away from the light. And we're gonna get things reflecting in, okay? So even the arm here, if this is super shiny, we're gonna get a little bit of a reflection back in. So just adding that dark bit there on the front. Um, typically what I'll do is just leave a big white area, something like this, and then shave the rest. Like so. Get that turtleneck on the top end. I'll do a black beret as well. Come to think of it, I don't know if Legos are even matte. I think they're all shiny. They don't really have many matte pieces, if at all. Certainly over time, when they get scuffed, all that good stuff, they appear to take on a somewhat matte color or matte finish. But I don't think it's something that comes out of the factory like that. Now you're saying you want her to have a blue shirt, so let's go for it. Is that two green? This is 201, let's see what 203 gives us. Okay, we'll go with 203. So in her case, I'm gonna use a different light source from the top and the top left here. Just like so. Similar thing to our other minifig. Just a couple lines to suggest reflectivity. Just 
Keep it nice and loose. We'll darken this up as we need to. Maybe I'll make the artist guy a brown person. <laughs> I'm not sure if they, do they have, um, probably do. Brown skin tone, Legos. Not exactly sure. Okay, a little contrast here. Hair color, skin color, what are we doing? You know, I do not have, <laughs> I don't have the range for for different skin colors, so I think I'm just gonna go with yellow. She's gonna be a yellow gal. This is yellow 314, whatever that means in this weird set of markers. Because I'm learning as I go. Sorry, I can't find, I had, so weird. Oh, there it is. Um, okay, four something, 315. Is this one darker? Slightly darker. 416, what do you look like? Oh, you're really dark. Okay, I think I got my yellows. She's gonna be a yellow gal. Oh wow. <clears throat> yeah, I've been I've been uh Let's see, I don't know how to say your name. Scholar23, Schooler23 has been following me for years. Yeah, I went through a lot of life stuff, had to kind of find myself again. Um, was married, got divorced, depressed. And then I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> so decided to kind of start up again and I've just been having fun. So I'm not going anywhere as long as I can do this. I definitely appreciate the support. Um, for those who've contributed monetarily or otherwise, it totally helps. My dream is to just be able to do this. Um, along with my YouTube channel for my kids that I have. Um, I do, uh, especially now that we're all cooped up, I've been doing drawing with my kids. And we've been sharing that. So you can check that out if you're interested. I believe the link's on the channel. Or you can use this link right here. Boom. So that's my kids' YouTube channel and I. And we just do fun projects we want to do. All right, so I'm going to make this guy, I, I, you know, I'm an artist. What if he's like me? So if he's like me, he probably has a beard and a mustache. So I'll have to do that. Usually they have, you know, lots of dots. So I'm going to have the beard, something like this. I'll finish that off with Sharpie, but I'm just marking it out for now. I really want to put a nose on this dude, but 
Trying to resist. Resist the urge. But yeah, thanks for hanging out um, and being here. Posting every day, minus yesterday, because yesterday was just insane. And I didn't even have time to post, hey, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be sharing a video today. It was just been, it was just bonkers. Um, so my apologies for that. I may post a little bit later today. Definitely going to post Saturday, Sunday, so watch out for that. Um, brushes will be released later today for sale. We're looking at about 20 to 30 brushes in that set, so that's kind of why it's been taking taking a bit of time. Got to make sure they're all right, all the settings are in. Um, I'm not going to have the supporting material ready for those today, however but there will be video content and uh, PDF available as an optional adder to the brushes. So watch out for that. I didn't wanna just release some brushes this time and have you guys, and just say, good luck. <laughs> so I wanted to give you a little bit of help along with um, releasing this stuff, so. That was a little darker than I thought it would be, but oh well. There are things we can do to fix that. Mechanical engineering robot. No, this is a Lego minifigure set. These two guys together, or humans, Lego, Lego humans, if you will. All right, I need pant colors. I like red pants. <clears throat> so if this thing is me, it has red pants. And I, yes, I do have a pair of red pants. Um, I'm not gonna show you, but I do have a pair. And whenever I go karaoke, yes, I go karaoke. Sometimes I like to wear my red pants. So I'm gonna put red pants on this guy. So whenever a surface is facing up, I try to leave that blank or if I'm starting with my lightest color, go with that first because this is going to be receiving more light than these other surfaces so that now I can use something like this red 213 or I've got this one, this uh, 126. I've got a scrap piece of marker paper over here I'm, I'm using to test um, in case you're wondering, why does he keep reaching over? It's just this scrap piece of paper. So I use that to test, and then now I can do my shading. And as I approach the edge, I like to go a little bit, you know, where this edge is. So if I'm shading like this, just one stroke on the, f the last, and then build up toward that edge. And it's going to help me provide contrast on that edge. So shade in more here, less toward this edge. Now that this is dry, we can take a little darker red, like this 218. What's up, Ross? Welcome to the stream. So I can take like this 218 now and just shade right next to the light, and it just makes it pop. And you go, oh yeah. I can hear my kids going crazy. It might be a Lord of the Flies situation when I go check in on them, but hey, we're all dealing with it now. 
if you've got kids, you know what I mean. We're all home. We're supposed to be homeschooling, but um, interesting times. If you feel me. This is Sketch Day Live every Friday, 9 a.m. Pacific, or catch the replay on my YouTube. Just be sure to turn on alerts and subscribe and you won't miss it. All right, so this dude has red pants. What color should her pants be? Hussein is rolling his eyes, I'm not sure why. Um, <laughs> what color should her pants be and her hair? Should we do blonde, should we do redhead, should we do black? Maybe I'll do black hair. That'll be fun. I'll do black hair. All right, so I'm just gonna leave some white spots here to kind of contour the hair. You know, because if this is molded plastic, you're gonna get those nice highlights happening. Okay, had a little, little bit of trouble making in the chat there. Okay, so her pants, I think I'm gonna do just like a brown or something. Um, engineers wear brown, right? <laughs> so I'll just do a simple brown pants. find the brown I was using before. Oh, here we go. 648. I guess I did kind of make a mistake with her because the shadow is going this way. Yeah, so the shadow's going this way, but then I have like a highlight here. Maybe that's just, uh, what do you call it? Um, atmospheric or ambient reflection, that kind of thing. But yeah, cheap markers, man. I never, never expected this. Invested in Copic a long time ago, and here we are. They work pretty well. All right, some brown pants there, red pants. Thank you for joining me on this Sketch Day Live. We're gonna wrap things up in a few minutes, so if you have any questions uh, about anything, life or otherwise, feel free to drop them in the chat. Join the Discord if you want to. There's a community growing. My hope is that you guys can kind of help each other and we've had um, a few people shout out to Alex Hector Silva in there as well helping out not even officially like moderators or anything but they're just you know answering questions and helping out so much appreciated Yeah, I had someone in the chat that was just um, being highly critical. And I don't mind criticism, but I think you have to be willing to... Um, it's like, it's one thing to say, oh, this sucks. 
But another thing to say, this sucks because, because I'm, I'm willing to learn. I'm not, I'm not one to claim that I know everything. So I just, I don't put up with it anymore. Um, if you have something to say, say it for sure. But don't expect me to tolerate abuse or um, put up with empty criticism. That's, that's a waste of my time. So in case you're wondering why that person was hidden from the chat. So yeah, even after the stream, if you're like, oh, hey man, you totally messed up here. I'll be like, thank you so much. I'm going to try to be better next time for real. And I mean it. So I just don't put up with um, people being completely irrational or disrespectful without contributing to the conversation. So that's all I'll say on that. Okay, so let me get this guy's beard in. Just using a Sharpie, put some stippling on. Just like so. Oh, hey, Alex, welcome, welcome. Just received the markers. Um, you got the Bianyo, right? Is that what you picked up? I just ordered the Uhuhu, Ohuhu markers. Uh, which, from what people are saying, are pretty close to Copic, so even more so than these. Um, so I'm excited to try those out. And I'll post my, my thoughts. Um, I will say these seem to interact a bit more with the Paper Made Flare than the Copics, meaning they kind of bleed just a little bit. So yeah, just a little bit. All right. Um, I think we mentioned she needs like tools in her tool belt. I don't know what I would put in the tool belt necessarily, but you know, maybe there's some sort of ruler. Um, she could have a compass. I don't know if you guys remember these compasses, um, maybe a little triangle showing through. I'll just shade those in with gray. All right. front camera just died so I'm gonna have to say goodbye without you guys seeing me but yeah I've been meaning to do a video on how to um, give feedback and how to I think I did one on uh, how to receive feedback but <laughs> yeah some people I'm just like you need to chill A little paintbrush here. Clean it up with some white. And let's get the wrench in. Or whatever this tool is. Because <laughs> it's, I don't think it's really a wrench. Maybe she works on like some advanced spaceship somewhere. Thanks, Christine. took this black marker and started shading the yellow area I think I'm I think I'm getting delirious from being so tired <laughs> mm -hmm. and just to tie this in I will make her hair tie blue like 
so maybe do some black shoes Like I always say, contrast is your friend. Push that contrast where you can, within reason. Help things pop off your page. Just a sec, guys. Quick battery swap on this camera that is freaking out on me. So that's it. Thank you for hanging out. Um, we'll be back on Sunday. More good stuff, hopefully. Send me your suggestions. We did our speed form vehicle here. As you can see, some warm ups, did some side views. Um, you know, it turned out different, but that's okay. Kind of influenced the final drawing here. And we did our Lego minifigs. But I've got to go rest and recover and all that good stuff. So thank you for hanging out. Um, definitely hit subscribe. Give me a like, whatever. Turn on alerts if you enjoyed this video. Um, definitely share it. The channel has been growing, which is awesome. So whatever is happening, thumbs up. Appreciate it. Um, and if you're looking for a way to give back, definitely uh, just tell a friend. Um, spread the word. And if you learn something useful, Teach it to someone else, okay? Um, find opportunities to help each other. Okay, guys, we'll see you next time on Sketch-A-Day. Have a good day.